Hey, 741 here, Big 550. KTRS, Kathy Helbig. Um, the Kathy Helbig group joins us. Good morning, Kathy Helbig. Good morning. Uh, Good morning. All right, showings. Let's talk yeah. about showings. Yeah, we're talking about your showing game. So if you have a buyer come walk through your house today, are you on point with what you should be doing to make sure you are showing that house in the in the best possible way? All right, give us some so, hints. So number one, you are you detached from the house? So a lot of times mm -hmm. I sit down with people and say, it's time you've got to divorce yourself from your home. This is no longer a home, it's a commodity. Right. So we've got to go through and make sure that we set it up for appealing to the broadest sense of who the buyers out there might so be. So take down your kid's poster from 20 yeah. years ago. Yeah, yeah, we definitely go through the bedrooms and take down all the posters, like everything that's on the um, refrigerators, mm -hmm. a lot of personal things, I personal know this colors. is your favorite chair, but the cat you know, destroyed yeah, it. It's a time one go. like the the precious moment collections that are scattered all over right. or the teapots that line the cabinets in the kitchen <laughs> yes. you know those type of things so we've got to pare that down depersonalize everything obviously cleanliness is next to godliness it has to be clean dust bunnies you need to probably get a couple of new comforters sometimes people let that go and then they're thinking they're going to buy things for the new house go mm -hmm. ahead and buy something for the new house now and, take it over and there. use it and take it with you so definitely that don't forget the areas too that people touch because people are real touchy in houses so they're they're grabbing the um doorknobs they're flicking the light switches they're opening cabinet doors and a lot of times those kind of have you life build up and, on it yeah peanut butter it. and yeah. that kind of stuff for sure hmm. make sure it smells good too but don't go overboard so the best <laughs> thing you can do is like fresh flowers or bake something recently so it's nice pleasant odors but and you can use candles and plugins and things like that but then you need to remove them before they show the house because the one will think That's what are you trying to hide right. and a lot of times people just put like a bunch of plugins all over the place and then leave it in and then people first of all it's overwhelming to some people that have um, sensitivity to smell right mm -hmm. but then you also start going why do they have 18 plugins in this house <laughs> as they're walking around <laughs> ding 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 that might be a little bit of a sign um keep some baskets and stuff handy because clutter is a big thing too so when you have a showing popping up you just grab your stuff throw it in a basket i used to throw it in my trunk and i drive it off i drive my laundry yeah. off that way you don't have to be on top of it constantly um what about dog stuff and that's another big thing is pets yeah so people cannot stand to see even if your pet people uh somebody else's pet hair mm -hmm. so getting all the hair out of the corners getting rid of the signs of pets food bedding cat litter is the worst too so you've got to figure out how so to, true you walk in a house terrible. cat litter you're like gotta yeah, go yeah yeah and a lot of people aren't cat people Right. So that's a big one is making sure all that's out of the way. And basically you're creating what they call the Goldilocks effects effect. Everything needs to be perfect, perfect lighting, perfect setup in the room, perfect smell, perfect sound, have, have music piping and turn the television stations on the same channel throughout, pick a music channel. And it sounds like piped in music through the house. Right. Mm -hmm. So set the scene and then also get out of the way. That's a big showing to do <laughs> is get out. People want to stay and kind of stick around and well, I can show my home the best and mm -hmm. he needs to know about this. No, you're going to get in the way of the sale. Get out and move. What about medicines in the medicine cabinet? Yeah, that's one thing that out of my 21 years in the business, two times I've had something walk away and one of them was medicines. Really? So you do need to think about not Advil or anything like that, prescription right. drugs, the people who narcotics, are looking, right. painkillers, um, you know, that type of thing, Adderall, Adderall, Ritalin, that kind of wow. stuff can walk off. So you don't keep it in medicine cabinets. Don't keep it in your drawer in the bathroom and don't keep it in the kitchen cabinets because those are the place where a lot of people keep their medications yeah. before they, you know, because right. it's handy oh, to the boy. sink and things. So really quickly through a walkthrough, they just, they're opening up, looking in cabinets and all it takes is that and it's gone. Kathy Helbig, 314-276-SOLD. 314-276-SOLD or kathyhelbiggroup.com. Good stuff. Thanks Thank for coming you. in. 745.